I found the perfect spot by the river for our picnic tomorrow. Oh, that's lovely. Were there any wildflowers there? Yes, the whole field was in bloom already. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be such a lovely day. Can you tell me where the town of Red River is? Yes, sir. Follow the path past the oak tree. Then take a left at the fork and then go up the hill. Excuse me, miss. I'm Theodore Crane from Washington, D.C. I'm here to investigate some strange reports. Why, of course, Mr. Crane. Welcome to our town. May I suggest checking in with Mayor Hargrove over there? Why not have a glass of water? It's a hot day. Mr. Crane, is that you? Mayor Hargrove? Oh, indeed I am. What brings you to our humble abode? I'm sorry. I must be looking for your father. It's very routine inspection. Can you tell me where he is? Well, there's no trouble here. We're honest folk here in Red River. Now, I am the man. That's fine. But I do need to speak to an adult. It is always nice to have visitors. They bring good news from far away. Are you planning on staying long? Just as long as it takes for me to get the answers I need for the home office. But forgive me. I don't understand. Where are the grown-ups? Well, we are grown-ups. Let's take a ride to the schoolhouse where we can all get on the same page. Mr. Crane, follow me. Have you heard about this Mr. Crane guy? Yes, I've heard about him. What are we going to do about this? I don't know. Good afternoon, Mr. Crane. It is a beautiful day today. You couldn't have picked a better one to visit Red River. Most of the town is already at the schoolhouse, Doc. They're all excited about the new arrival. Hope you haven't had any negative side effects, Mr. Crane. I'm not sure what you mean, mister. Doctor, Dr. Caldwell, I'm surprised you haven't noticed how your clothes don't fit despite being a government investigator. Keep calm and let me explain. When you entered our town, our friend Miss Jenkins offered you a glass of water, right? Yeah. Well, that water came from the Red River. That's why we look like kids, Mr. Crane. Oh, no. And don't let that worry, Mr. Crane. You'll be safe here in our little slice of it. You have no reason to, but trust us. This will be the best misadventure you've ever had. For now. What? The specifics will be told at the schoolhouse. But for now, just take a deep breath and enjoy the ride. Welcome to the little school on the prairie, Mr. Crane. We, let's hope we can make Red River your new home. Oh. My name is Laura, and I'm the lead nurse at the hospital. Are you feeling any headaches or body aches? The transformation can be wrong. I don't know what happened, but I feel amazing. I had a bad knee walking in the town. Now I feel like you could run for hours. What happened, Doc? We have a secret about the Red River, Mr. Crane. The river itself and the Mexican staff, though, a wonderful side effect of healing and de-aging. All of us physically look like we are in our teens. It kind of depends on how old you are when you start drinking water. Most of us are well into our 60s. That's a little unbelievable, Doc. It may seem like something from fiction, but you seem like an observant fellow, Mr. Crane. You can see for yourself. If you'd like to follow the rest of us into the schoolhouse, you'll get the whole picture. So how long have you been here keeping this a secret? This town was started a few hundred years ago. On occasion, we do have visitors, but rarely do they ever go back to where they came from. And don't let that worry you, It's my choice. Same, same choice you are being given to me. Mm, what choice is that? Mr. Crane, you have a once in a lifetime opportunity to stay here and live a very long life. Or you can go home and forget this place exists. I doubt I'll ever forget it, no matter what I do. I have two pills for you, Mr. Crane. One will make your physical transformation permanent, and the other will make you forget you were ever here. We have a secret worth keeping, Mr. Crane. If word got out there was a fountain of youth, it would become a tourist attraction. Or worse, fountain kills over. My sister and I were the most recent visitors. We came to town a few years ago and had never left. It was a little scary at first, but I had my sister, so I knew I was okay. 
and the work we do here is really important. The technology we have been developing here has led to some hefty patents. It keeps just the right wheels grease, money flowing, and the right politicians on our side, so they don't know about the river. The choice is yours, Mr. Crane. You can go back to the present or be a part of the future. We'll do better at keeping the records less interesting. Good idea. That you should just know, the reaging process is painless, but either way, Mr. Craig, it's completely up to you what to do. No, I don't think you an error first, or I have only contained the anonymous of Miss Reynolds' theorem, which is what caused your the aging. Without the pill, it'll simply reverse over the next few days. Oh, Mr. Craig, the choice is yours. Go home and make a move. Well, hold it, Lee. 